very welcome. This was such a new, fresh take of the genre. I'm going to ask you some difficult questions, though. Okay. Uh, the first one is, you know, we've often said men photograph or film women naked. Mm -hmm. um, as a woman director, you chose to go there in telling your story. Did that cause you to second guess yourself or add a little pressure for you? No, because I always knew, I always had a very um, specific intention of, of, of how much nudity there was going to be, the reason for it, you know, and um, I just, I wanted, nudity wasn't really important to me. It wasn't like, you know, uh, and, and uh, in a lot of the sex scenes, like, they're not, they're not nude at all. You know, they, they have clothes because what was more important to me was, was being true to the sexual nature of this, of this couple. And they had this very animalistic lust for each other. So in a lot of times, they don't even have time to remove their clothes before they're going at each other. So that's where I really started with it. And then, you know, in terms of like, yeah, there happened to be a shower scene, so you're gonna see a little bit, but I only wanted, you know, to catch a glimpse in a way that it felt natural. It didn't feel like I'm trying to hide or cut around, because I don't like that. I feel like you're very aware as an audience when you're cutting around stuff. Um, but yeah, it was just it was just leaning into naturalism, um, um, but really staying true to to what 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 the actual sexual nature of this couple was. Mm -hmm. uh, in the award season, two female writer directors have dealt with um, a woman's period, mm -hmm. and don't normally see that from male directors. Mm -hmm. Talk about why it was important to include, and also as a woman director, are we opening up um, things that are taboo uh, and making them just more tangible and, you know, accessing it for the other half of the population? I think absolutely. I mean, the reason why I wanted to do it was because I thought, okay, a, a man would never write the scene, you know? Um, I would say the the intention behind like you know um, starting the film really with that scene was was to set up um, that on the one hand Luke is a man who's not threatened by women you know like and and how and I wanted to show that like how could he be threatened by a woman if he's got her her period blood on his face you know and and that's and the way that he laughs and almost loves her more for it that makes you love him and adore him and what I wanted to really show is that is that is that Luke is not one or the other, you know what I mean? He, he's not like this clear stereotypical villain. Uh, he's a human being, you know? He's a human being who, who, who just doesn't know how to deal with his pain and his insecurity, and so it starts to manifest in really poisonous ways. But I really, for me, like starting out with, with, with the period blood thing was, was a way of kind of showing that on the one hand, you know, yeah, he's not threatened, but, but, but then when, you know, certain things come to light, then on some element he is. Okay, um, let me ask you this because your film deals with action, mm -hmm. emotion, mm -hmm. and then obviously uh, physicality. Mm -hmm. um, how did you work with your actors to get them to deliver on those three points? So um, we, a lot of the scenes that be, that turned more physical, you know, at a certain point, we would basically shoot those scenes in, in two parts. So we would shoot the performance first. So we'd shoot all angles performance wise and just get that so the actors could only worry about their performance without thinking, okay, where's my head gonna land? Where's my hand gonna go? You know what I mean? Because that can completely take you out of it. So once we got the performance um, piece, then we treated the physical part like a stunt. And it was very, very technical. And the camera was, and we did very little takes. We did maybe one or two takes of those physical parts because we didn't, we didn't need more. You know, we, we had the close-up shot. And we're like, okay, your head's gonna land here. And it was just very safe. And I think, I think treating that physical stuff like a stunt just really, it took the heaviness out of what was happening um, and it just made it safer. Well, this movie isn't safe in your choices, which I love. Uh, lovely talking with you. Thank you too. Thank you.